Oh, I see a nut in there. Yeah, you see you... a nut? Whoa! Zero people found this helpful. Recipes are hard if you're a criminal. <laughs> Have you ever had a recipe changed up on you without your permission? <gasps> Well, if you haven't experienced that, you're lucky because it happens every day on every recipe on the internet. I'm Courtney Miller, and today I have my two friends, Ian and Anthony, which is which figure it out. <laughs> and we are going to be trying recipes that have been changed by the freaks in the comments. We're gonna be looking at each recipe, trying the evidence, seeing what was changed, figuring out the injustices, and then you will taste the real thing as it was meant to be right in this world. <laughs> this is culinary crafts. I feel I feel like you were reading like a teleprompter that was only giving you one word. <laughs> <laughs> so, our recipes today: vegan, gluten-free. All accounted for. Don't be afraid. Okay. Don't be scared. I Have you guys ever made uh, substitutions in your meals before? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I should. That's a dumb question. Yeah. <laughs> so the theme of this episode is, is foods that are, are vegan, gluten-free, with some other twists as well. It's a lot of nuts, I presume. Besties with testies. Besties. We are besties with testies. Hey, so no, not the this nuts is a very, this is very, this is going to be a very nut-forward episode, I'm guessing. We are going to be trying three recipes that have been finagled with. We are going to figure out what the substitutions were. We are going to taste the real thing, find out what the evidence was, and then we will decide the punishment that said uh, suspect will get for their crimes. Check behind the painting on the wall. <gasps> is this an escape room all of a sudden? <laughs> this one? That is the only painting. I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, this is so much fun. Dude, and you found it yourself without any clues. Yeah. In this bag is the evidence. Okay. Can you handle this? Uh, yeah, I can handle it. Am I just holding this? No, just put it somewhere. The crime scene is as follows. Fresh asparagus soup. Ingredients include fresh asparagus, chopped onion, vegetable broth, butter, all-purpose flour, salt, ground black pepper, vegetable broth. Wait, again? Soy milk, yogurt, lemon juice, and grated Parmesan cheese. Do we need to note this or is he just like being a teacher's pet right now? Teacher's pet? I'm getting the facts straight. That's right. The incident on April 14th at 4.42 p.m. Three stars. I felt like this recipe needed a little bit more, so I added blank, blank, and blank, and instead of lemon, I used blank, blank. Was amazing. Mm. So they thought it was too boring. They were like, hmm, this gluten-free vegan recipe sounds too boring. We need to spice it up. I right. guess so. Zero people found this helpful. And uh, what, is, what is the charge? They're on trial for four counts of culinary crimes. Four counts. Four counts. Substitutions are one thing, but adding additional ingredients is another. First thing I do when I show up to a crime scene is start tasting stuff, so let's go. Ooh. Okay. Uh, this looks good, though. Yeah. It, it, it really does, does look good. good. I, I have recently become a soup boy. Yeah. I've become been... a soup boy. That's why I put you on this case. Oh, is that right? Yes. Yeah. I have been a good soup boy's assistant. Uh, yeah. You invited me over. I was a little assistant. We made some soup. We made soup together. It was really good. But you, yeah. you have you. I think you should take the lead on this. Okay. I'm already noticing some visual things that I don't feel like I remember on the recipe. Uh, Do you see that oil? Uh, yeah, there is oil on top. Is there not oil in the? I don't think so. Could be butter. Um, there appears to be some oregano. Is oregano oh. called for? In the... There's definitely some herbs no. here that were yeah. not mentioned. So I, I feel like. Someone might say this needs like extra herbs and spices, so I think this might be oregano. You know, obviously I'm seeing I'm seeing like a, a coarsely ground pepper in there, that might be throwing us off as to other herbs that could be in there. Um, 
There's a lot of greens. I'm yeah, some, I am seeing some chunks, maybe a nut. Oh, right. I see a nut in there. Yeah. You, you see a nut? I, yeah. Look, well, little flakes of nuts. It huh? looks like a flake of a nut. There's little nut flakes. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it smells not good. Okay, ready? Let's go for it. Okay. Mm. I taste the asparagus. This is actually really good. It's not bad. It's a I, little bland, but I'm into it though. I feel like I taste other vegetables. Yeah, like almost like peas. Or broccoli. I taste peas. Broccoli. Broccoli. Taste broccoli. Uh, it's tough to feel anger in this moment. I know the bread is a little extra garnish, but. Mm. Okay. So. You know, this slaps actually. So I was expecting this person to add things that would add like a mm. zing to it. I'm not getting any zing. Yeah. It's it's just staying pretty like it's savory. It's it's savory basically all the way through. Like even the um the lemon juice, which would have given it some like acid. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not getting any any acid. You are so right. right. They right. did swap out the lemon, and I think lemon, when it's added to recipes, is there for a reason. Honestly, this would be better with lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I swear I did see like little little nut bits, but. Flakes are so definitely sure. something that was added, I think, because I don't see these flakes have yeah. been they don't. They don't look right. I'm so gonna say, I'm gonna say oregano. I'm gonna say oregano is probably in there. You might be right. I do see flakes of green and flakes of a nutty material. It looks like almonds, maybe? Like, what are these nut flakes? You see this? I like, don't see nut flakes, and I think you need to go, like, check your eyes. I don't see nut flakes. Where's the yeah, nut look, flakes? Look, look, at, uh, look, at the, look at the brown sort of flaky. Flaky boys. Here, I'll pull, I'll pull out a little nut flake. Oh, almost like almond skin. Yep. Oh, who needs to get their eyes checked now? I mean, I do. I have eye problems. You, <laughs> yeah, sure. you see, the, see this little brown flaky there? Yeah. Like it's something, right? It looks like it could be a skin of a nut. The skin of a nut. Yes. Uh, some might call it nut skin. So Guys, don't be disgusting. <laughs> I honestly, like, what if there was spinach in there? Spinach? Why would they do that? Why does anyone do anything? You know what? You're right. All right. So we're thinking broccoli, mm -hmm. oregano, mm -hmm. some kind of nut, almonds. It looks almond? like it looks like almond skin to me, but nuts have various different shades of uh, skin on them. I'm gonna say almond. It looks like almond to me. What do you think they would have put in place of lemon? Like, I, I doubt it was a lime. Old hand. Ooh. Old hand. <laughs> Old ham. No, just old a hand. hand. <laughs> so instead of lemon, they use an old hand. That's, that is a possibility. I don't taste lemon, so what do you think they did instead? Do you think they did like garlic oil or like truffle oil? Oh. Um, truffle oil could I be good. I definitely don't trust no, it. Could be good. I don't good, taste truffle though. Not. All right, okay. Let's, let's make a decision on the last on the last ingredient. Mm -hmm. It's something that I think of. Some kind of liquid, right? Some kind of squeezed it's something? It's definitely a liquid. Squeezed orange? Um, I'm thinking garlic. I feel like everybody thinks everything needs garlic always. I think you're right. Which yeah. is not the truth. Not always the case. Um, I think you're right. And then instead of lemon, who in the right mind would, like lemon is. That's essential. So instead of lemon, I use blank juice. Orange juice. No. Is it another no, orange no, no, juice? No, 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 don't do that to me. OJ for the milk? Ew! Dude, no, you can't. <laughs> you cannot do that. I mean, maybe you can. We just tried it and it worked, kind of, but no. This is a crime. I feel like orange juice oh. is acid. Like what are you getting? Juice. I'm not getting anything. What is that? Yeah, it's very bland. I feel like whatever they I added, they like added whatever they oh, added wow. just like went underneath and you can't even taste it. I'm going to say broccoli, oregano, almond. And garlic oil. Garlic wow. oil. I'm going almond and oregano. I do agree on that. I think it's pea, not broccoli. Ooh. I don't know why. And also, I think it could be avocado oil. Ooh. Because huh. it call. doesn't really have much of a flavor in itself, and it would be drowned out by all the other ingredients. Interesting. We have our suspicions in. Let's see the real thing. I have the verdict. I'm on the edge of my seat, Chief, please. Well, you can move back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. Boys! Okay. <sighs> I felt this recipe needed a little bit more, so I added broccoli. Oh, you're right. Celery. Oh. And kidney beans. Oh. Oh, that was okay. kidney bean skin Bean's. we were seeing. And instead of lemon. Yeah. I used maple <gasps> syrup. What? The what? What? Was amazing. What? 
Bro, it's soup. It, it doesn't the, need to be sweet it like that. It needed acidity. It needed the acidity. Yeah, it needed acidity. It was it was still decent, but adding celery and then adding maple syrup is so cursed. Celery, but, but celery does nothing. Yeah, they, they're like, I added some extra stuff because I wanted to get rid of ingredients. Like, why else would you add know. celery or broccoli to this? It didn't need either one. I mean, the broccoli, I, I, I'll give, and the kidney beans, I'll give. For like know? maybe like, protein or something. Yeah, like fiber. You know? Sure, but it's not adding much in terms of flavor. No, not at all. So I, I am mad at this. How You're, do you feel? Um. I'm a little mad at this too. Unnecessary extra ingredients and swapping out one of the most important aspects, which I think would be the zestiness the of the acid. lemon, yeah. the acidity, yeah. uh, with, with something sweet. Pretty offended, I'm very I, offended. Yeah, I'm only mad about the maple syrup. I think the other additions, they're fine, but you need, like this needs a kick. It don't, and it doesn't have a kick. There's no kick. Is that the Soup Boy review? This is the Soup Boy review. Just add a little kick to this and I think you got yourself a win. Or we can, decide a sentence, mm. we need to try the real thing right. and see if this was uh, self-defense or just downright murder. So here we have the real thing. Mm. Clearly, clearly the specks that we thought was oregano was broccoli because we don't have those yep. those those speckles of herbs in here. And the kidney bean skin isn't everywhere, which yeah. is nice. Oh yeah, the kidney bean skin. Yeah. That's what you saw. This still this looks amazing it though. It looks really good. I'm excited to get in there. Yeah. I feel like the consistency is better too, because it's just yeah. one single thing that's been like pureed. All right, y'all ready? Should we go for it? Yeah. Can we do it? Let's go. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, that is so much better. It's brighter. You can taste the asparagus. I guess it was a little bit more bland before, which is mm. interesting because it had more ingredients. Yeah. You would think that more ingredients would make it less bland, but it made it more bland. Yeah, it just evened every flavor out. So nothing yeah. comes through. But Everything this, was competing With this, before. you're like, oh, this is an asparagus soup. Like, mm -hmm. if I had that other thing, somebody's like, what do you think it is? I'd be like, uh, soup. green soup. Yeah, green yeah. soup. <laughs> Straight up. I, I think the lemon really, really helps as well. Yeah. It, it, it like closes off the, it's like you taste it right at the end. Yeah. This I, is a way more pleasant soup. I like the consistency a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would have enjoyed this with the grilled cheese. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the I, campfire. I, mm. And mm. you guys are with me and your shirts are off. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's how I usually eat around a campfire. Yeah. Know, the thing that I take issue with, aside from the recipe changes as well, mm. is giving this recipe three stars. Mm. They are critiquing the current recipe, saying you are not enough. You're actually kind of mid, if not bad. And I made it better, they're claiming. Mm. They're claiming they made this better. Mm -hmm. They claim they made it better, then they gave it three out of five stars. And they I think, said, was amazing. Was amazing. <laughs> tooting, tooting their own horn. Yeah, the more yeah. I taste this, the more I like it. Mm -hmm. And like, what they did was just like annoying. And yeah. adding something solely sweet in replacement of lemon is a crime. 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 A crime. Crime. So we need to, I think that they deserve a sentence that is just surpasses like, oh, this is annoying. And a little bit more. Hear me out here. I think their punishment should be that they are forced to listen to their favorite song ever on repeat. But there's like an, an extra hook in there that's just doesn't go with the song at all by a different singer that's trying to in a different key different key and it's just off a little bit i think they should be sentenced to really watered down lemonade that's all they can drink as a liquid for the next two years so they they can understand the importance of acid and it'll flush out their system give them a nice detox sure. yep both of those things are being sentenced to the suspect of fresh asparagus soup no, 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 I'm- Oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. No, no, no. <laughs> I wanted to be part of something. Uh, Anthony, can you present us the next case? <sighs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. The next crime scene is vegan meatloaf. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, boy. Ooh. Listen. I know in our previous episode, we kind of shit on vegan gluten-free recipes a little bit. We did that, I'm sorry. It's justified. I mean, it, something could be vegan, Stop. something could be gluten-free, but when you put them both together, it doesn't have, not usually it's a good tough. danger zone. Yeah. It's a hard knock life. But they have great meat substitutes out there. That's Especially fair. for something like a meatloaf. Yeah. So, I have faith in this recipe. Mm, okay. For the meatloaf, the ingredients include olive oil or water, diced onion, diced carrots, diced celery stalks, minced garlic cloves, chickpeas, 
breadcrumbs, ground flaxseed, nutritional yeast, soy sauce, vegan Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, liquid smoke, optional, but good. And <laughs> <laughs> I love an optional but good on but a good. on a recipe. For the topping, ketchup and vegan Worcestershire sauce. Right, so more of the same on top. The incident on May 13th at 5 p.m. Three stars. Okay. I was a little disappointed, but perhaps it is because I didn't use breadcrumbs. Mine was flavorful, but more like bean dip than a loaf. Oh. We're gluten free, and I was looking for a way to economically make this loaf. I chose blank. I used one cup. Perhaps next time, I'll try using more blank or adding some oats. A witness contributed to the conversation. Oh, okay. Blank are very different from gluten-free breadcrumbs, <laughs> oh. which is why the loaf didn't hold together. <laughs> Old-fashioned oats would probably be better a better substitute if you try this again. This suspect is on trial for one culinary crime. One singular crime. They swapped out one very, very important ingredient oh. or something that did not match. I feel like we're about to anyway. we're about to look at another soup. It's kind of like try that. literally like try making meatballs without breadcrumbs. It doesn't hold up. Like yeah. you need those things to hold it together. I could I'm see scared. oats. I could see oats working. I don't know about this, guys. We did have a lot of clues here, though. How hard could it be to figure that out? Let's see. Okay, oh. so it's, it is more put together than I was afraid. I thought it was gonna be real liquidy. Yeah, but um. Okay, so we're looking, is it one big ingredient was swapped? That was like the big Whoa. thing. I smell like, it smells like that seasoning and pulled pork. Oh, it's the Worcestershire. There's something, like I think it's a dry ingredient that was replacing the it's bread. It's gotta crumbs. be, it's gotta be. Well, should we taste it? Cheers, mates. Cheers, y'all. Mm -hmm. Worcestershire. Mm. Mm. Oh. The flavor's not bad itself. Mm -hmm. No. But the texture doesn't, is nothing like yeah. that. Low. Huh. Oh. oh. Okay. You're not into it? So I'm tasting the, I'm tasting the chickpeas. Okay. Cause I was like, I was like, I'm tasting beans. Yeah, I was about to say like, is it like potato? Oh, they could use. Oh, potato. Potato, potato flakes. I maybe? taste potato. This is what I originally thought. Was it gonna be corn flakes? You, or, you have had a thing on the show with cornflakes. Yes, and that was cursed. <laughs> this is pretty good. What if it was like potato chips? Because um, it's not going to be I, crunchy, because the way it cooks, it's going to become soggy. Yeah. No matter what, crunchy becomes soggy. Everybody I feel knows. like that's the chickpeas. I was going to say, chickpeas are similar in texture, though. Because they make like dehydrated like potato flakes, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. So okay. they, used, they used a cup of it. So it's something that you could potentially pour into a cup, maybe? I mean, yeah, it, it's replacing breadcrumbs. It has to be something that you add into the texture to compact it and make it hold shape. This texture is upsetting because the Worcestershire tire is like a really strong flavor that deserves like a texture that's like, you know? I think it's mashed potato chips. What if they had like a chip bag and there was like the crumbs at the bottom and they're like, those are crumbs, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hear me out. This is a weird thought, you mostly, but I'm thinking. But I'm yeah. thinking. Okay, you know, dry things, right? Dry things. What else? What else could you pour? That's like a dry thing. That's a dry starch that you could pour into a cup. Rice Krispies. Let's see the verdict. All right. All right. Why did I close my eyes? Okay. <laughs> You're afraid of the truth. I seek it. Okay. No, <gasps> no, what is it? I was a little disappointed, but perhaps it is because I didn't use breadcrumbs. Mine was flavorful, but more like bean dip than a loaf. We're gluten free and I was looking for a way to economically make this loaf. I chose rice cake crumbs. I used one cup. Perhaps next time I'll try using more crumbs or adding some oats. What the fuck is rice cake crumbs? You know, like those things that like the, they're at Costco or wherever it looks like a bread bag. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. And it's like the cylinder and it's like the flat patties that are like. Oh, I know. I, I like how their solution is like, next time I'm gonna use more crumbs. Yeah. Uh, more of the thing that made it not good. Here's the thing. If someone were to invite me over and be like, hey, you want some meatloaf? And, and I go, yeah. And then they put this shit in front of me. Yeah. And still pretty good. The consistency of the, the rice cake crumbs is the sole crime in this recipe. It is clearly bad. Yeah, that texture is just all kinds of off. 
I think when you try the real one, I don't think you're gonna see much of a difference. Vegan meatloaf, as it was meant to be. <laughs> All right, breadcrumbs. It, it already looks like way more like it's holding together in structure, whereas the other one looked like it was like about to have a mental breakdown. Yeah, yeah. and I, I was able to pick it up with one scoop rather than like trying to finagle a spoonful. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that made a huge difference, that one item. Mm hmm Okay. Oh my gosh, so much better. Mm. This is so much better. The, I think the rice cake crumbs also don't take in the flavor of like the Worcestershire and the other flavor, the soy sauce in there, because it's just different. Bread absorbs stuff and absorbs flavor, and it's just like, it's so much more texture. It's so much more better. flavor too. Yeah. Because the bread, I guess, absorbed it. Yeah, it Ooh. literally, it literally tastes so much better. And mm. like, if someone were to give this to me, I'd be like, correct. Yeah. I agree, it's better. I don't think it's that much better. It, it's good, but if if it was this versus the soup, I would eat the soup every time. Mm. Yeah, definitely. With certain meals, like if the texture isn't hitting just right after I get to a certain level of full, suddenly mid chewing, I'm like, oh my God, I need to throw this out of my mouth right now. Cause the texture yeah. could just be like wrong. Yeah, the other one it grossed me out. The texture grossed me out. This one is better, but I actually don't, I'm not like in love with this texture either. Okay. And yeah, I would say you're, you're right when talking about like what was around their house, what they yeah. had available to them. I still bump it up. Wasn't, it wasn't it putting bad. orange juice in a banana bread. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. That's I mean, the biggest crime that we've ever like, seen on this yeah. person tried. They went, okay, I need a starch, and they they just you know they whiffed. <sighs> misdemeanor. Yeah, yeah, it's a misdemeanor. Yeah. Slap on the yeah. wrist. Slap on the wrist with a gluten-free uh, baguette. That's gonna be kind of it would just break. Uh, if it's stale enough, I don't know. <laughs> Stop. On to the next case. The final one. Ian, bring us the final case. Y'all ready for this? I can't say the rest, we'll get sued. <laughs> different crime show. Different crime uh, show! Different crime. <gasps> <gasps> final crime. The final victim recipe. Crazy cake. Whoa, crazy cake. What? Ingredients. All-purpose flour. That's crazy. White sugar. That's crazy. Unsweetened cocoa powder. Baking soda, crazy. salt, crazy. vegetable oil, crazy. distilled white vinegar, Ooh. vanilla extract, cold water. Have That's... you ever had crazy cake before? No, that doesn't sound no. that crazy to be honest. Well, it's a crazy cake because it doesn't have milk or eggs in it. And the vinegar, oh. is that always there? Eggs in, it, literally, it's like the first thing people say when you're making like a baked good with eggs and milk, it's cake, bro. No, but is vinegar usually part of that? Oh, no. Is crazy spelled with a C or a K? Uh, see. Oh, uh, not that crazy. No, it's not that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the suspect on August 12th at 7.11 a.m. That's a good time to write a review. Five stars. Whoa. Whoa, they love this. I made this for the first time today, and wow, the cake is delicious. I substitute blank for the white and blank for the water and added some blank. Divine. 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 Smiley face. I like that I didn't need eggs or butter for it. Okay. Okay. So the the white is referring to the white sugar? I think yes. white vinegar. Mm. Oh, there's white vinegar and white sugar. So uh, you don't know what I they guess replaced. We'll have to find These out. people need to specify. This suspect is on trial for three counts of culinary crimes. I think we gotta put them behind bars. I don't know what they did, but they deserve it. This is gonna be, a, we need to be very vigilant on this case when it comes to the evidence of the crime and the original recipe as it was meant to be. This is gonna be very crucial. This might be the first time that we have a recipe on here where they gave it a perfect five stars for their, for their uh, you know, replacements that they made. Open your eyes, oh. Kate! All right, well, I'm, okay. I'm very excited to tear it in. I want this in my mouth. Yeah, Ooh, I right now. I, I see nothing that I could point out as different. It looks Ooh, the good. the texture is nice It's a little crumbly. And, uh, it it's a little crumbly, but it's like it's like dense. It okay, looks like. divine. Oh. All right. Shall we put it in our mouth? Three, two, one. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Mm. There's like a chocolate chip in there or something? So yeah. I got something hard. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Uh -huh. Oh. There's a weird element though that just came through. Yeah, wait for that aftertaste, bro. Oh, okay. Um, first impression? 
So my dad, every uh, Christmas, bakes Kahlua cake. Um, so it's like a chocolate cake, chocolate chip, bunt cake uh, with Kahlua, which is like a, a coffee liqueur. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of getting like a, maybe like a little bit of a of like an alcohol oh. flavor. Maybe, maybe. I substituted liqueur for the white vinegar. Dude, how is this gluten-free vegan? Like I would I would eat this at a restaurant. I kind of think it's red wine vinegar. So they sub they substituted blank for the water. Was it like an oil? Oh, no, because it already calls for vegetable oil. So instead of cold water, they added some kind of cold liquid. <laughs> I can't see, I don't think they'll be able to see it, huh, not with this one, we'll have to taste it. It doesn't seem like it would be milk. Chocolate because... milk? <laughs> <laughs> well, you definitely taste like the unsweetened cocoa powder. It's like so, it's almost like a nostalgic, hot chocolate cocoa powder taste. Yeah, I taste that. Um, and it's, I think it's, it's dense, mm. but it's dry. Mm. I don't think it's like a milk or anything. I don't think it's a moistener. I, it's so good, but there's something weird about it. There's a, like, one of these ingredients that they swapped is just a little bit, it's throwing me off. My taste buds are are not into it. Kind of tastes a little really? bit. Really? Like, yeah. Like it tastes extremely good, and there's like a little oh, chemical, oh. like of a little like weird. I have a thing. <laughs> Spill it. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Oh. Coconut oil instead of veg. That's a thought. I smell it and I taste it because I use it a lot on my body. <laughs> oh. So so instead rub, of rub quick, rub some on. Oh, I'm gonna put the cake on me? No. Mm, yep. <laughs> I was like, rub my skin onto the cake. Yeah. <laughs> so you think they use vegetable oil and coconut oil? No, they probably replaced vegetable I oil. I wonder so. if it's and added some coconut oil or I substituted coconut oil for the white oh. sugar or I don't know, because it's not like a very oily. Oh, I guess I do see some. Well, like they added, to so it. they definitely added our chocolate chips part of the. Oh, yeah, I think they yeah, did just add they some must chocolate have chips. Added, they added some chocolate chips. Okay, mm -hmm. so chocolate chips are definitely one of the ingredients. Yep, yep, I see that right here. So that's. Yeah. Or it looks like brownie crumbs. Yeah, it kind of doesn't look like chocolate chips. It looks like something it's like adjacent. It's close it could to be chocolate chips. It's like vegan chocolate chips. It's either chocolate chips or like brownie crumbs. I'm gonna go with chocolate chips. Though. Yeah, I think so. Whatever it is, those those chocolate chips are like divine. I substituted brown sugar for the white, maybe. That could work. But, but like why would they like why would that be so important? I think it's I think they did something really weird and did like a substitution for the white vinegar. Also in baking, that shit matters. Baking yeah. is math. I'm going with brown sugar. And I'm going, I'm going substituting rum for the water. Whoa. Crazy, I know. Okay. 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 I, I think it's something weird like powdered sugar. Uh, instead of brown sugar? No, instead of what? Well, yeah, instead of brown sugar. For my chart, I, I think it's chocolate chips, rum, and brown sugar. Same. From. I'm gonna say, say powdered sugar mm -hmm. and definitely chocolate chips. That is a for yes, sure. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, let's lock that in. Okay. <laughs> what? That was wild. <laughs> that was good. That was wild. Ready, break. Let's bring in the verdict. This is the first time I don't think a crime was committed. Oh. This is must be a crime of passion. This was crime of passion. Yeah. Okay. Crazy cake. I made this. Oh. <gasps> I made this for the first time today, and wow, this cake is delicious. I substituted raspberry vinegar for the white and coffee for the water and added some chocolate chips. Oh, mine! Yeah. Oh, I should have stayed. I mean, if I stayed with Kahlua, I would have been a little closer. You were I should close. have stayed with my red wine vinegar, too. Yeah. Yes, yes. God, why you do I doubt it, myself? But hey, it was on the notepad, so it counts. It red was, wine vinegar. Um, it was, I wrote red wine vinegar and the word divine underneath it in sloppy so handwriting. Of, I was of close. <laughs> so that does explain why it did remind me of my dad's Kahlua cake. Yeah, funny. I wow. taste the raspberry now. I do, now that it's registering in yeah. my brain, I taste the raspberry. It's like a little aftertaste. Yeah, which is great with chocolate. Yeah, there's a lot of tongue action going on in here and I'm not getting coffee still. It's great though. This is divine. Let's see how we feel when we try the real thing. Crazy cake as it was meant to be. So we did some private investigating and the story behind crazy cake is actually uh, is popular in World War II times and, and forward because 
Uh, it was a cake that didn't need milk, eggs, and butter. Ingredients that were probably expensive or hard to come by. Oh. That so that's why it's so well known. I love how it, it's simply vegan, and they didn't have a word for that back then, so the word they chose was crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, now get this, there's no animal products. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm just making a wild guess here. I think we're gonna like the divine version better. You think more than this I think one? So. You I think, think it was so. actually improved? I think it was all in the chips. Bro. That, That's that would be all in the say. chips. That would be a first on this show. That's a crazy thing to say, bro. Oh, the the the, the structure is better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it does. It slices moist. a little bit more, like I would expect. Not as dense, cake. but it is moist. Not as crumbly. Go for it. Mmm. So it's drier. Mmm. Wait. Oh. Oh, this is good. This is mm. good. I love the other one, but this is better. Oh my goodness. They're both five stars. If I were to receive both of them separately, I'd probably eat a little bit of both back and forth. The white vinegar, I think, adds like a, a brightness. It's almost like savory. And I think the coffee might have overpowered this flavor that we're getting in this one now. Yeah, like, no, I agree. And then the coffee made it into like a more of a rich approach. This one, has like that, it's like a, almost like a saltiness that I think came mm. from the white vinegar rather than the raspberry. This one tastes a little bit more like a really good birthday cake to me. Mm. Oh. You see, and that's and that's the issue I'm having <clears throat> because it does, it tastes like a birthday cake where it's just like basic chocolate cake. But it's that like- you get at a store. It's, it tastes like a so store, good. like a store, like birthday cake. Whereas the other one, the chocolate chips, it was like little fun pops. You know? No, I agree whereas with that. Like, whereas like, you're like, oh, chocolate cake, whoa! This is good. I think the other one, I don't know. I, I, I agree that the chocolate chips definitely improve the other uh, recipe. I think mm -hmm. anytime you can add a little, uh, like a solid chunk of something in a something fun, like yeah. that, it, it ends up being really nice. Like that's why you like the ice cream with like the, yeah. the little chunks of stuff in it. Oh yeah, it's the best. But I think that Adding coffee and raspberry vinegar, I don't think that was the move. I think mm -hmm. this with the chocolate chips would have been the perfect, perfect cake. Absolutely okay. perfect. I could, I could agree with that. If you were to take the chocolate chips from the other one, put it in this guy, yeah. that would be really <laughs> divine. Oh. Like, I feel like the person that hates veganism, like everything that's vegan tastes like shit or anything that's gluten-free tastes like shit. If they had this, I didn't know. I think that they would happily eat the whole thing. It's I think they would 100%. have to shut the f up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd say the punishment that I would give this this suspect, who's not a suspect, we know it's you. You did this. Mm. But it's gonna be like the ending of Batman, where it's like the guy, the cop is like, oh, you're gonna be in trouble, but it's nice working with you. <laughs> and so it's like, you better be careful. Okay. You're teetering a, a scary line. I think for me, it's the end of uh, The Dark Knight Rises, where I'm Michael Caine, on the other side of the restaurant. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then this criminal looks back and he goes. <laughs> God. And then Michael so and then Michael Caine goes. <laughs> and then Leonardo DiCaprio's off to the side like. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. didn't make the final cut of the movie. He, no. was, he was there, though. Yeah, he deleted was there. scene, deleted yeah. scene, yeah. cameo. This recipe is, you can't be mad at it no matter what, I feel like. This was really oh. good. I think we're letting this person go, you know? Not yeah. even a warning. I don't, I'm not, I'm, just give him a little look. Like you were saying, yeah. case closed. Case closed. Case closed. Don't, okay, fine. I'll let you guys do it for this final one. Case closed. Definitely. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for helping me seek justice today. Thank you, Jesus. And in the process, I thought you called me Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and in the process, we discovered some things that are a little naughty, but in the best way. Mm. Um, guys, let us know in the comments if you find any other crazy recipes online that would uh, be something that we should investigate. How would you punish these suspects? Let us know down in the comments and who else should I bring into this very official, very serious detective's office to check out some evidence. Love you guys. Eat good, kiss your tomatoes, and hug your oranges. And have a divine day. Divine. Bye. <laughs> Am I just holding this? No, just put it somewhere. It's not that hard. Oh, that was a good. Where'd it go? Oh, pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, bro. <laughs>